Hello everyone, it's Jenny and I'm here to play Murder 38. Point Bleep Studios presents Let's say the victim was beaten to death with an iron kettle. How the hell can you tell that? When you've been doing the job as long as I have, bitch, you start to see the patterns. <laughs> bitch. Well, hmm. damn it, let's just start looking for some clues before we start jumping to conclusions. Alrighty then. First off, I'm gonna turn the music down quite a bit. And keep the volume on that. Okay, that doesn't seem like it did anything. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Okay, that did not turn the volume off at all. Alrighty then. I thought that I did something wrong in that. Alright, there's something in the dumpster. Bitch, you better take a look at this. What is it, dammit? That cake down oh there. Oh my god. It's still in its wrapper. Do you think it's safe to eat? Oh no. no, that's gross. Forget about it. Yeah, that is kind of gross, actually. Got a wallet here, bitch. The money's still here. <laughs> So the attacker must have been startled or only interested in the murder. We'll have to run it through the computer downtown, see if we can get an ID out of it. Alrighty. Uh, boop. So there wasn't too much at the crime scene from what I'm understanding. Murder, murder 38, episode 1. A small world. Alright, police station. Boop. Um, okay, insert the wallet. Analyzing wallet. Driver's license detected. Name, Richard Randall. Date of birth, April 21st, 1968. Address, 4401 North Northington Drive. Address added to map. Convictions, none on record. Status, Upstanding citizen. We've got an ID and address. Mr. Richard Randall, North Norrington Drive. Hey, my cousin's dog groomer lives over there. <laughs> it's a small world, bitch. Come on, detective time. It's a small world, bitch. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, then. Uh, I'm get I forgot one other thing that I need to do here. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Boop. Analyzing DNA patterns. This will take a long time and will probably lead to a last minute twist. Testing still in progress. Alright, that's done. Uh, Alright, Randall's house. Okay. First things first, I see a birthday card. Right. Happy birthday to my beautiful son Richard. Love from mother. Okay. Interesting. Receipt. Take. Yoink. Uh, check the bookcase. Sweet 16. I found a diary entry here. Alrighty. Dear diary, life is good. What can I say? Just moved to a new area which I love. I got a great deal at the local pawn store for my old iron kettle. Rusty old thing fetched me eight dollars. An odd gentleman outside the store took quite an interest in the kettle, but kind of failed to make an offer. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, is there any commentary Looks for like this? somebody's had a birthday and died. Yeah, that's very, very morbid. It looks Thank like you. Mr. Randall needed to make some quick money. Yeah. Pawn it by South Street. You have received the sum of $8 in return for one iron kettle. Okay, Tell me, bitch, this. what are the odds of selling an iron kettle the same day you get murdered by one? Pretty low, I guess. Why? Let's go check out this pawn store. Alrighty. Okie dokers. Uh, yes. I've been saying okie dokers for a little while. And by a little while, I mean for the past, like, month. Even though I haven't said it on here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. I need to go back to the police station. Ah! Forgetting my notepad. Any good to tech? 
any good detective would make sure to have it. Take. Boop. For some reason, I'm kind of craving a Coney Dog and a frosty mug of either root beer or Mike's Hard Lemonade. I don't know why. Anyways, back to the game. Ah, it's been a while. Alright. Talk to you, Mr. Discovery. Detective Dammit, this is my partner, bitch. I'd just like to ask <laughs> you a few questions. I'm sure y'all looking to buy or sell. Neither. Neither. We're solving crime. Do you remember buying an iron kettle recently? Well, maybe. I buy a lot of stuff. I don't suppose you have a receipt, I buy a lot of stuff. I like his tone. How about this? Yep, one-eyed kettle. Looks like we did buy it. Why do you want to know? Do you still have the item? Well, she sure. I don't know what it would look like. As you can see, we're positively swimming in kettles. Positively they all look the same, too. Kettles. Impossible to tell apart. <sighs> All right. Boop. But it look like this. Yeah, that's the one. I'll never forget that detail. You know, I'm pretty <laughs> sure we sold it again later that same day. Some odd-looking fella paid ten dollars for it. You think you can describe mm. him while I make a sketch? Yeah, I guess I could give you a description. <laughs> oh God. Right. Start with the hair. Was it hot like mine? Oh, God. Yeah, man, he was bad and pretty bad. Tell me about the eyebrows. Did they have a look of confidence or a look of loss? Now, they were kind of angry like yours. <laughs> Any distinctive facial hair? Yeah, he had a fucking sexy handlebar mustache. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so let's start with the hair. He was balding. Uh, let's see. Balding pretty bad. Angry eyebrows. And... Handlebar mustache. Oh, A mustache, yeah, if that's, that's right. You've been most helpful. Good day to you, sir. All right, yes. bye now. Let's go, bitch. We can put this image into the computer now. Oh yeah. And boop, redo. Well, this game is short but sweet. I think this was part of a 72-hour thing, but it'll probably say it at the end, so. Yeah. Also, if I haven't already mentioned this, there's a little bell icon right next to where it says subscribe on my channel. Ding that little bell and you'll be notified when I upload. It's really cool. Put you in the in crowd. <laughs> Alright, insert clue. Searching for potential matching criminals. Scanning eyebrow position. Scanning hair type. Scanning for mustache. Perfect match. Name, Paul Otter. Date of birth, April 21st, 1968. Address, 4601 North Northington Drive. Address added to map. Convictions, 23 counts of loitering around pawn shops. Status, potentially odd citizen. That cracks me up. Looks like we've got a match here. Mr. P. Otter, North Norvington Drive. Well, that's the same street as the victim. Oh, goodness. It's a small world, bitch. It's definitely a very small world, bitch. It's a small world after all. And that is the only time you will ever hear me say that. <laughs> that song just kills me. <laughs> it makes me dead inside. Who are you people? You can't just come in here barging in like that. Detective Dammit, this is my partner, bitch. Well, what do you want? I want to know why you've been killing people with kettles, Mr. Otter. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Here you do. I'm gonna look around. You better hope okay. I don't find any clues. <laughs> well, first things first. Birthday card. Grab. Uh, Looks let's like go it's somebody else's it. birthday, too. <clears throat> Alright, receipt. A receipt. Bingo. Bingo. Looks like the clerk and the computer were telling the truth, bitch. <laughs> Pawn it by South Street. You have paid the sum of ten dollars in return for one iron kettle. 
Now what would someone who doesn't murder people with iron kettles be doing with an iron kettle? You better start talking, pork chop. <laughs> All right, fine. I bought a kettle, okay? But I never intended to hurt anybody with it. Truth is, it was stolen yesterday. You're lying, ha. Otter. Calm down, damn it. We can't prove it wasn't <laughs> stolen. That's true. Bookcase, let's search that shit. Dear Diary, what can I say? Life has been awful. I've moved to a new area and something about the place makes me want to start killing again. I wonder if they have a second-hand shop. It's a little suspicious. Or as um, Skinner from Ratatouille said, HIGHLY SUSPECT! <laughs> Looks like somebody's been keeping a private journal. Hot Jesus. Yep. There's some pretty goddamn damning evidence right here, Otter. Goddamn damning evidence. Well, that's evidence. just a story. I write fake diaries all the time. That seems pretty oh reasonable. Oh my god. Touché, Otter. God damn it. Uh, let's see what Does look familiar to you, Bozo? Well, that looks like my kettle. Uh huh. Let's Happy see what birthday, he says about that. Dirtbag. Wanna start telling us why the asylum's sending you a birthday card? They knew me from when my poor mother was sick. Oh, huh. Sorry to hear that. I hope she feels better soon. Um, I already don't trust him, so. See what That's it says not necessary. Office. Really? It won't let me. God damn it. Alright. Back to the police station. Why am I spitting all over the place? I don't know. Alright, let's put you in there. Analyzing clue. It's a birthday card from a Happy Hearts Asylum dated 1986. Wishing a Mr. Lee Potter a happy birthday. Lee Potter? I thought his name was Paul Otter. Why would Paul Otter have a birthday card for a man named Lee Potter in his house? Computer, search Lee Potter. Lee Potter, date of birth, April 21st, 1968, a.k.a. the Discount Killer. Potter was arrested in 1983 after a series of grisly murders using second-hand discount items from pawn shops as the murder weapon. He was diagnosed insane and sent to life imprisonment at Happy Hearts Asylum. Escaped 24th of April, 1986. Escaped. Potter. Potter. P. Potter. Bitch, we're dealing with a goddamn serial killer. To the detective mobile. To the detective mobile. I like that. It gigs up, Otter. Or should I say, Potter? How did you know? I spare you the details. But just tell me, why'd you do it? It's just <laughs> something I've always liked doing. I'd watch to see what random people would sell. Then I'd buy their items from the store and murder them with it. And then I'd get a refund and wait for the next person. <laughs> Never used to cost me anything, and I can sell the evidence. You didn't sell the evidence well. this time, though. Why? Well, the shop was shut. Just <laughs> like this case. Take him away, Take him bitch. away, bitch. Alrighty. One week later. This is actually a pretty fun game. I can't wait for the next one. Damn it, you're gonna want to see this. What is it, bitch? The DNA results from the iron kettle came back. You're not gonna believe oh, God. it. Well, spit it out, bitch. We got the right guy, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got the right guy. But here's the strange part. Potter and Randall, they were twin brothers, separated at birth. Oh, interesting. Isn't that funny? How well, is that funny? It's a small world. Irony. It's also considered a small world. Lee Potter was sent back to a secure unit inside Happy Hearts Asylum where he will remain indefinitely. When notified that his 38th victim was his blood brother, he simply responded, It's a small world. The end. Alright, and there should be something after this. Made in 72 hours for Ludum Dare 38. Theme, a small world. Awesome! 
They did a fantastic job. I will link the game from itch.io in the description box below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This was Murder 38, a small little game, and I thought I would go ahead and play it. And the day that this was recorded was actually a week before my birthday. So the day that it is uploaded, which ironically is my birthday, I wanted to say hello again. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. And then I love you guys. Alright. I got a jet. I got work. And, well, a birthday to plan. Alright. See you next week. Bye!